why I say that, right? I'm sorry? You know why I'm saying that about your signs? Why? Where's the Bible? The Bible? Yeah, when you have your signs out here and there's no Bible verse or anything, you just have... Well, why do you have to have a Bible verse every time that you're a Christian? Well, because that's our authority. It is our authority, but do we have to be blatant? Like that? Well, of course, ma'am, because that's what Christians should do. I don't Ma'am, yeah, but you weren't evangelizing. I was talking with somebody, and I was actually sharing, hey, this is what we're about. Do you want to be part of it? But you never shared anything about Christ. I did, though. That's the thing. What'd you share? What'd you share? I said that he took on our punishment for the world. He was the one that did it. What do you think? Did you it? mention sin, though? I mean, yeah, I did. But, ma'am, that's. I think the bigger issue, though, is your your approach. I mean. Did you not know Martin Luther King Jr. was a, a liberal? He didn't even believe in the resurrection? If I, well, I thought Christians should be able to talk about it. What do you think, man? I can't have a conversation with you about real things because you're confronting me on that way and that way. Well, that's what we should do as Christians. We should hold each other accountable. I don't think you're holding me accountable. This is what I see. I see that you're trying to say that what we are doing is wrong. Yeah, it is wrong, man. Do you know, but can I, the reason I'm saying that is because whenever you hide the Bible, whenever you do bring the Bible back out, yeah. then they're going to think, well, why didn't you just do that in the first place? Because you don't, you don't have a high regard for the Bible. We do that. That's the thing. So you think Martin Luther King Jr. has more of an influence on this, on the soul of a sinner than the Bible. So the way that this thing goes is we talk about the highs and lows of the, the nation throughout history, having to do with racial issues. Why not the Bible, though? Why not Christ? And then we talk Look. about Jesus coming in and saying, hey, he destroyed the temple because, well, not destroyed the temple, but he came in guns blazing because people were taking away other people's rights to interact with God. So you're seeing Wait, wait a minute. Do you here. think that's the gospel? That's part of it, yeah. That people were taking away people's rights? No, and so that he came Jesus to earth? standing for people who... He was standing up in in the way of people who wanted to interact with him that were not being given the opportunity from people who <laughs> were taking advantage of him. What? Had the opportunity That's not the gospel, though. It's, I'm not saying that that is necessarily the gospel. The gospel is that he is standing up for people to understand who God is. And part of that is being justified. Not why, justified why do you think Jesus came to earth? Why did he have to die? So why couldn't he have just stayed in heaven? Because we weren't going to get it otherwise. Why though? Because we needed to have an example of how we do it. What do you mean an example? We, need, we needed to have an example of what it means for the law to be fulfilled in man, but also understand that, hey, because we're human, because we are flesh, it's not going to happen that way. We have to have somebody to, to stand up for us. And it's not about... Wait, don't you think we have to have somebody to die in our place for our sins? Yes, we do, because that is the punishment, right? Yeah. Right. So why don't you just tell people that instead of talking about Martin Luther King and all the other stuff? Because it's a way to, to lead in. It's not, I'm not going to try and be confrontational with people. I'm not. Well, sharing the gospel is always confrontational, though. I don't think so. Well, yeah, because whenever you share the gospel, you're... Your, I mean, evangelism is intentionally confronting the worldview of a person and telling them they're wrong about everything they've ever believed in, and that this is mm -hmm. this is the remedy. This is why you need Christ. Yes, but there's different. Isn't that ways confrontational? Of, there's different ways of doing it, though, and I think that there's a better way of having. But man, this is no gospel at all. Martin Luther King Jr. and Caesar Chavez and. It's not gospel. And these not people aren't even Christians. They are. Martin Luther King Jr. denied the resurrection. He was an adulterer. He was a drunkard. Yeah, He's not a Christian. But here's the thing. Haven't you done evil stuff too? No, you Christians, ma'am, if the, the Bible says if anyone's a drunkard and they're claiming to be a Christian, then don't even eat with them. Don't talk to them because they're the denying. Where in the Bible? That's 1 Corinthians. Is and it it's really? tied. Yes, ma'am. What, what is the context of that? Tell me the context. Drunkards? No, no. What is adulterers? The context? What is the context of what was happening? Here, in the give church? me my Bible. Where's the? 
there were people who were drinking, like Martin Luther King Jr. And he says, if anyone is doing those things, to not even speak to them. But why? I think what do you mean why? Because they're claiming to be Christians and they're not. That's why. But here's the thing. If they're not... There's a difference between drinking and being a drunkard, right? There's a difference between... Okay, but that's not the issue. sex in marriage and then having sex as an adulterer, right? Yeah, they but profess all, to know God, but, but they deny all, Him by their works. But we are all forgiven by Jesus once we believe that. So I can go and get matter. drunk today, and you're, you're like, hey, that's that's cool. I'm not I can go cheat on my that. wife, and you're like, hey, that's cool. I'm not going to condone that because that's not what he's saying. What he's saying is once you once you realize this, then you are held accountable to it, right? But then if you fall back or if you slip in, but then you go back to Jesus, you are given that forgiveness as well. And here's the thing. We live in a world where we struggle. We live in a wait, world Wait a minute. Like We're not, you're like missing the whole point. Am I? Yeah, because, man, when people come up to this thing, I don't even know. It's not Christian. You guys should remove the Christian challenge part, intervarsity or, or Christian. Just call yourself intervarsity. That's fine. But remove the Christian part because y'all aren't you're y'all are not acting like Christians. Because Christians, y'all are y'all are ashamed of the gospel and you're ashamed of the reproach that comes whenever you come to somebody and say, hey, I just want to be out front with you and tell you, listen, that that we've all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Here's the thing. Go ahead and have a conversation with me away from the camera, okay? Thank you. Have a nice day. Well, man, once you once you yeah. lose, okay. once you, you come into public, you lose all yeah. anonymity. But I think there's a bigger issue going on here, man. Bye, Ryan. It's the scriptures. What about you, man? Well, like, we could definitely meet up next time. We could have like a. Yeah, let's do it. You yeah. got a you got a number or something I can? Yeah, you can write it down. Yeah, what's your number?